Pico Interactive worked very hard to bring the Sword of Sodan to the Retrobit Generations, and now we're going to play it. Here's the review. So here are some things I love about the Sword of Sodan. The sprites in this game are huge and meticulously detailed, and the sound effects heighten that feeling that you're fighting in the great outdoors. As for the gameplay, it usually involves crouching and repeatedly poking in the air, hoping to stab any soldier who's stupid enough to walk into your sword. The armor that these soldiers use to protect their groin area must be incredible. Holding different directions on the d-pad also changes the way you swing your sword. Use this technique to control spacing, change how far you push your enemies back, and maximize the amount of damage that you do. Relying too much on any one technique will probably cause your character to die. If you find any potions, pause the game, then press the A button to select and drink them. The stat boosts you get from drinking potions are going to come in handy because the difficulty level in this 30 minute action game is ludicrously high. Sadly, even with all these game elements, Sword of Sedan is incredibly boring to play. To illustrate this, I'm playing back this footage at 4 times speed, and it's still incredibly boring to watch because it involves trying to zone out your enemies almost the entire time, occasionally standing up to push them away. Ultimately, when it comes to playing action games on the Retrobit Generations console, there are better choices than this. So that is the Sword of Sodan. It's so going to get 1 out of 10 in my scale. It's not the worst game, but it's really trying to be. If you're willing to play through the potion drinking and the sword slashing and the relative boredom that feels more like a game of billiards, this is the game for you.